Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. I'm going to do a commentary video for Total War Rome 2. This is an online multiplayer battle. And the commentary is not live. This is being recorded after the, the game. But the, uh, the video footage is live. Anyways, my opponent's name is Frodo's heir. He commands the Spartans. And I'll be commanding the Carthaginians. And you can see my troops right there. Well, no you can't. So while we wait for my awesome computer to, uh, to do the awesome uh, load up at terrific speeds here, um, I'll talk about my day two of playing Total War Rome 2, official release. It's been very fun. I really enjoyed this game a lot, and I can, you know, safely say that I won't be playing Rome 1 anymore. Rome 2 is just amazing. And I'm only playing the online components, the multiplayer battles. It's, it's just astounding. Like, I love the, the true line of sight feature they have. I like that when you play quick battle, it's, it's very balanced so far from what I can tell. Like, you don't need rules, you just pick whatever troops you want, and everything seems to work. Even the Arver er, sorry, the Arverni are pretty awesome. And, um, I lost many battles today, I won a few. And this battle here, this was one of my, one of my favorites, just because it was fun. And, um, I'm gonna deploy my troops here, as you can see. Um, I do have some Numidian Cav. I'm gonna hide them on my extreme left over here. Those are really awesome horses, especially great for harassment. Um, next, I'm placing my uh, Iberian, my Iberian cav. They're pretty, it's pretty good. I'll show you close-ups later on if I remember correctly. This is my general unit I'm putting now. Nothing special there. And then I got some uh, African pikemen, sacred band units, um, some slingers. And uh, you'll see what my what my opponent brought in a minute. As soon as my guys can see him, there it is. I thought he was hiding units, but then I took a a better look. Well, I do take a better look. So uh, putting up my slingers in the front first. But this is my opponent's army. It's just all Spartans. There's Royal Spartans. Um, all kinds of different Spartan units and variations of. So, I was working under the premise, under the assumption that that's all he has is just that. These are some of my hidden units. That's a close-up of my my, my uh, mercenary. I mean, sorry, my Iberians. And yeah, you can see that the uh, the unit detail is amazing. Like when you look at those uh, those Osprey books and the artwork, it looks just like that. I mean, like, the, the uniforms they picked. It's just amazing. So, I see his Spartans coming, so I'm just gonna spread out my, my Slingers. I'm not too fearful of there being any Cav. But I do have my Cav nearby, just in case. That's an overhead, of course. And you activate this uh, overhead tactical map with, or by holding the tab button down. So I'm going to take out my Numidian Cav, and I'm just going to harass his uh, his Spartans as they pass. Ready for battle. And I'm just going to swing out my Slingers, so they can take shots on the Spartans. And I believe this was actually, this might have been a day one battle. I'm pretty sure it's a day one battle. Because on the very next day, I didn't see anyone trying something like this, where you just spam one unit, or just spam a Spartan. It's not exactly one unit, but it's the same unit type. But there's no cab and there's no uh, no skirmish units. So on the left, you see my Numidians. They're just crawling through the forested area. And whenever they have that little eye icon by the unit card there, that means that that unit's hidden. So I'm gonna start shooting those guys now with my slingers. And that's gonna pull his guys out of formation. So I definitely wanna disrupt his, uh, his movement. Don't wanna keep him as one body. So here comes my awesome Numidian Cav. That's one of his units, the hero of Sparta. Go after my, uh, my slingers there. So I'm bringing up these guys. Harass! Look at those Dominions. They had a uh, historical reputation as being some of the finest horsemen. 
And they weren't like uh, heavy, like shock horses, but they were more for uh, like skirmishing purposes. But the way they rode their horses was just art, according to the ancient historians. And the Romans used them eventually as they started to conquer areas in the region. So look at the Spartans, they are getting showered from my Slingers and my Numidian Cav. And here come my Iberians. I don't really have too much faith in these guys right now because I would be using these guys mainly for taking down skirmishers, but since my opponent has no skirmishers, I'll just be hitting from behind when it were possible. So now the Spartans are coming at my guys. I probably should have ran away. But, oh well. I think I can hit this guy from all sides. Turn it into a little uh, Hannibal-like battle here by uh, surrounding from all sides. Here's a close my Iberians going right at it with his uh, Spartans from behind. And yeah, the Iberians aren't probably the most ideal unit for that purpose, but hey, it's better than nothing. Because if I let the Spartans just uh, go at my and my other infantry, they might just get steamrolled. Not sure. I've never really seen these Carthaginian units by my own hands. It's usually been my opponents using them. So now that's gonna just pretty much just surround this guy. Is my African pikeman. So I'm basically just moving my units around so I can uh, hit those Spartans from all sides because he upgraded the heck out of those guys. Pikes ready. And look in the back, my my skirmish machine slaughtered those uh, Spartans right there. Those here's a Sparta. So I'm sitting in my Numidian cab to just charge them down. Like, there aren't many in there, but I might as well finish them off. Well, there's like 18 guys left. Let's watch this with the insert camera mode. Boom! Orders, my lord! Orders, my lord! That's my general right there. I'm picking. And, uh... For no reason, I'm going to dismount my general here, I believe. Just to show you that you can dismount your cab units in here. I, I will send them into the fight. But because there's so many guys in the way, it's not even going to make a difference. Probably best just to leave him out of it and inspire his men. But, uh, I guess I'll just to show you that... You know, your guys can't dismount from their horses. So you can't even see the Spartans, they, they are in the, uh, the bushes right there. Because you do know that Spartans like to fight in the shade, so fighting in the bushes is probably the next, the next best thing for them. And you can kind of see their shields being raised with the Spartans. There you go, there's the Spartans right there. And, uh, yeah, this battle was fought without the, uh, the shade on the, uh, you know, the video option. Turn off your shades. And, um, also turn down the uh, unit detail to, I believe, just medium or something. Yeah, until I get my, uh, my new uh, hardware, then I'm gonna be running it like this. A charge! <sighs> it's just so fun playing this game, like, I haven't, like, missed sleep because of the video game in years. Probably not since my, uh, my Rome Total War one days that I, I've lacked sleep. I, I'm just, that just shows how awesome this game is to me. I know people are complaining about it, but, uh, I, I love it. And it's a nice feeling to have that, you know, that desire not to sleep anymore because you like the game so much. That's how I feel with this game. I'm rediscovering my passion for video games. At least this video game. So, uh, there is the last remaining Spartan unit right there. He's trying to uh, come back. And uh, we're just going to hit that unit from all sides. We're going to use the intimidation button on that Spartan unit there. 
last stand of the Spartans. Some of them just left thing there. The camera lens. And I think that's it. It's a fun battle, uh, getting to use uh, Carthage. Close victory. And you can see, look at that, more of those uh, ugly losses there. It happens, though, in a new game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Good game to my opponent. And, yeah, that's that. Those are the units he used. <laughs> those are upgrades.